Hi guys, it's Melinda, and today we're going to be looking at my very tiny collection of Prenite, or Prey Night. Um, it is a ino silicate of calcium and aluminum. Uh, Prenite, or Prey Night, depending on how you pronounce it, uh, crystallizes in the orthorhombic crystal system, and most often forms as stalactitic or botryoidal uh, aggregates. Very rarely, um, it will form distinct, well-individualized crystals showing a square-like cross-section, um, including those that are found at uh, the Jeffrey Mine in Asbestos, Quebec, Canada. Um, so I think I'll start showing you. These is, you know, just like a typical thing you'd find these in the metaphysical shops or, uh, you know, gem stores. Collectible little, like, tumble stone. Uh, these typically do have like these rutile inclusions in them, and that is uh, kind of a common feature of prehnite or prehnite. Beautiful translucent green is the most popular color, I would say. Um, so prehnite or prehnite is brittle with an uneven fracture and a vitreous uh, to pearly luster. Its color varies from light green to yellow, uh, but also colorless blue, pink, or white can occur. I would say this type of green is probably um, the most recognizable of the colors of prehnite. Um, in April 2000, rare orange prehnite uh, was discovered in the Kalahari manganese fields in South Africa. Uh, so that's pretty freaking cool. Um, and prehnite is mostly translucent and rarely transparent. So you can certainly see my fingers through it, but it's not like as clear as glass, let's say. Beautiful. And here's my raw specimen. Which I'm assuming is with quartz on what looks like basalt, but it was... Um, misidentified by the seller and so I've mentioned this a couple times in other videos but the seller um, had purchased a large museum collection that didn't come with labels and uh, at that time anyways they weren't very knowledgeable about minerals themselves uh, so a lot of the things they sold me were uh, misidentified and unless these little quartz uh, crystals are actually apophyllite. I don't believe they are, but if they were, then I suppose you could get away with calling this a zeolite. Um, but if it is prehnite or prehnite with quartz on basalt, it isn't a zeolite because prehnite is not a zeolite mineral. Um, and zeolite is just the name given to a group of minerals. Apophyllite is one of them, still by hewlandite. Um, there's a, quite a variety. And I think the reason this one uh, gets mistaken as a zeolite quite often is because it is associated with uh, zeolite minerals uh, as well as other minerals. So um, common ones would be datolite, calcite, apophyllite, stilbite, lomontite, uh, and hewlandite. And typically this would occur in veins and cavities of a bas basaltic rock, um, sometimes in granites, cyanites, or gneisses. And really nice quality uh, prehnite can be, you know, used as a gemstone. Very cool. I like it a lot. I like my two little specimens. I like having one that's tumbled and one that's raw. Super neat. Really cool. See the texture of the prehnite or prehnite crystals? Isn't that neat? That like globular formation is considered botryoidal, botryoidal <laughs> formation. I always have a hard time saying that word, but it's super neat. Yeah. So just a short little video for you guys today. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a little something about prehnite or prehnite. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. See you next time.